we are at the middle of the quarter, actually a, little bit, a couple of weeks after the mid quarter. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the hands-on tips and guidance about electronics. I'd like to do this pretty interactively and using real experience. And I will start with my car. I have a 2014 GTI, Volkswagen GTI. It looks like this. It's almost 10 years. I drive it to the sea. I drive it to camp. The only thing that I ever wanted is it doesn't have CarPlay. It doesn't have the navigation system. In 2014, that's the last year they allow to not have a more advanced head unit. What I have is instead this. So that means I don't have backup camera in the back because there's no screen in the middle for the backup ca camera to connect. And uh, over the last weekend, actually uh, a couple of weekends of efforts, I did this. So I did a little bit of mechatronics. This is really mechanical and electrical work. I hope to show you how in detail this works. So I have a backup camera now. It will flip the cab automatically when I go to reverse. And then when I do forward, the cab will automatically close. Many of you, if you are driving Volkswagen, you know this is a feature pretty modern nowadays. And then when I stop the car, the, the cab closes. And then I can have, finally, navigation system. I can have a backup camera. Today, I'll focus on how to connect the backup camera to the car system. There are just two pieces of components, seemingly easy. There is this original flip cap that uh, you will use to open the trunk, and then there's this new camera integrated cap. This flip badge actually takes, it looks easy, but uh, it takes a lot of efforts. The original one is this. There are a lot of actually nice engineering design into this. It's not just a mechanical device. Anyone can guess why? Because if this is only mechanical, then I can open the trunk whenever I flip the bag. When you lock the car, you don't want that to happen, right? Actually, there are some clever electronics in here. There are three wires that goes out of this little device that will connect to some electronics. And then things get to be... This new flip badge, there are actually quite good engineering into this. So you can still flip the badge to open the trunk. And then you can do this without showing the camera. You can see in this frame over here, there's no camera visible. And the camera is actually hiding behind another cover over here. So it's difficult to see. I will show you a little bit more details later. But the camera is actually hiding over there so that it's uh, waterproof, rainproof, it's soundproof. And then when you go to reverse of the car, actually there's a little motor that will automatically show the camera, open up everything. That's the uh, overall story. Now, the details are in all over the place over here. You have to do a lot of engineering to get this right. You have to open up the panels in the back, somewhere in the side panels as well. Watch the orange line. You have to connect the flip badge, there are a couple of lines to connect it, and then you have to feed these lines in a way that's waterproof again. You have to wire these using the existing conduit in the car. You can see over here, this one, there's a little uh, black tube that's actually gonna help you to do waterproof of the electronics. And then you have to do this, wire these through the side of the car, inside these panels, and all the way to the front of the car where your head unit is, so that you can see the camera feed. We talked about this. When you open, just use your hand without, uh, without driving in a reverse way, the camera is hidden. And then the camera will show up if you turn to the reverse side. Think about how you can design that in the feature for the car. When you go reverse, the backup light will turn on. That's a good indicator that you are actually in reverse. And that line will have a positive five volt. And oh, then okay. that's good. Exactly, yeah. So I will show you a little bit later today, actually, the many motors, they, they function like this, three wires, one ground, one positive, 
which is uh, 12 volts, for example, you have to keep the 12 volts, and then there's one signal line. So what we discussed is exactly that. So there's uh, some clever engineering design over there. This is the shape of the motor. It's a small motor, actually. Now let's uh, put these into the design space. How we have these hardware components, how do we wire this integrate into the car? Starting from the center, this is the flip edge camera. It has this uh, little tube over here. This is to connect to this drain pipe so that when this water, when it's raining, the, the water won't flood in your flip camera. And then there are a couple of more wires. Focus on the bottom here. There is this uh, power lines. There are three wires. The red one is the one that we just talked about. It's the positive for the motor. There is the black, which is the ground. We have to connect these to some power source from the car. The camera itself doesn't come with a battery. And then there is this signal line, which is the blue line. So we just talked about this. We're going to connect this to the backup light line. The power line, we can get some power from the car, from the fuse box. So we can have this uh, line that's going to help us to connect all the way to the front of the fuse box. And then there are some pins that will have positive 12. You can test this with multimeter, for example. And then the black line, we have to connect it to the ground. You cannot connect this. You have to be very careful about uh, these, these ground wires. The safest way here is to connect this to also to the front of the car near the metal of the fuse box. And then the signal light. When you go reverse, the backup light turns on. And how the backup light is controlled is through inside. There are three wires go into here, and one of the wire is going to connect to the backup light. Again, how do we know which line is which? Test with some multimeter. Or there is actually some contactless uh, voltage tester meter. So you can get to know which line is actually turned on when you go to the reverse. So we connect the, uh, the blue line, the signal line, to the line over here. That's the control of the motor only. Now, to get to read the camera information to, from the car, we have to connect this uh, signal line, which is this black line over here. And then this black line, you can go all the way. You have to do some wiring to the front of the car and then inside to the head unit. There is a line that you can connect through the, this yellow line over here. That's the basic engineering design before you do this, before I did this. Now, in many cases, the installation is easy, but uh, I had to do a lot of wiring and then cutting and then making sure everything is correct, do a lot of testing before turning on everything. And then at the end of the day, this is how it's done after do the wiring. And then you have to connect the panels back again. There are some ex excellent engineering design into these panel installs as well. If you will ever do something like this in the future, take a look at the engineering design in the manufacturing. The end story is everything is back to normal. I have the functioning head unit as well as my camera and uh, functions as expected, reverse forward. Any other questions? I was hoping to use the rest of the time to talk about some basic electronics. Uh, I would do this in a hands-on fashion and um, in an open format as well. I will show you what I can think of and then if you have questions, in the specific scenes, ask me, stop me anytime. Let's start with power. 